Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here being joined by some of our favorite type of people, a chef, Jackie. Right. Yes. Yeah, so we have a chef here from the Northside Cafe in Winterset. It is Walter Janke joining us in studio right now because what he's going to do here this morning is he's going to show us how to make something that is heart healthy using Mazzola corn oil and uh, right. some of the benefits of corn oil that we Ex talked about before are amazing, aren't they? Exactly. It's really... Um, it's really a great oil. It's been shown to reduce cholesterol mm -hmm. levels in the blood two times more than extra virgin olive oil. That wow. is an amazing, amazing statistic. That we is. mentioned that last time we talked and someone stopped me and said, is that really true? It's like, yeah, it is. Uh, right, right. I wonder if they were surprised to see that. I don't usually think of an all-purpose oil as having that kind of health benefit. And there's so much we do with all-purpose oils. Right. And Last week we did cooking. You might wonder, this is a cooking segment. There's nothing hot to cook with. <laughs> well, we did breakfast before, right. so now right, we're going to move into right. lunchtime. This is lunch right but here. But September is kind of a month where we're thinking about right, being is, heart healthy, right, correct? This is Cholesterol Awareness Month. Right. Absolutely. And so a lot of people should be paying a little more attention to that. We should all the time. All the time, This is a great right. time just to remind people of that. And this is really a perfect dish, as I did some research into this salad. We call this a superfood salad. Superfood super salad. Food. So what are you having for lunch? Well, I'm having a superfood super salad. Food. Okay. Now, well, after those pancakes for breakfast, I think this is probably... <laughs> okay, well, all this right. is probably today, a great, yes. a great pancake day. But right. this is something you use as a chef in the restaurant, correct? Right, right. We've used it, and it's it's been a, a great oil. One of the nice things about it is it's got that neutral taste. Mm -hmm. So when we don't want to ha add an extra flavor, flavor. to something... Mm -hmm this is a great oil to, to use. And so for the salad dressing is where it comes into this dish. Okay. So we've got All right. two we're, phases. We're, so we're, we're leaving here, okay? to the, uh, the master power tools. tools. Yeah, the, the power tools, tools right learning. here, okay. <laughs> guys, guys and power tools, you can't get us apart. Okay? Go for it. But uh, again, the thing that's also cool about this and having corn oil is this is uh, a product that is created right here in the Midwest. So we're keeping everything exactly. in the Midwest, right? Right, yeah. Buying local has been a, a big word lately for anything we can get locally right. is good for the economy and when it comes to food it's often healthier so absolutely uh, it's it's another plus from Azola that us yeah, in the Midwest and this is have. one of my favorite gadgets in the in the kitchen oh, by wow. the way. So, okay okay so what are we going to be creating here what are we, okay, what are we so doing the superfood salad Do Jackie's going to help with that but first we'll assemble the dressing I get lettuce. what do you want to put so in first we're going to put in the corn oil first that's right. the Mazzola corn oil that's about six ounces of oil six ounces okay and how many salads you get out of this just depends on how much Probably salad for, dressing you for, like. How, so that's I, for me and Jackie. Uh, right. Oh, perfect. And then we're going to add, this is just orange juice concentrate. Just, that's it? No oh, I sugar thought that added, was an so egg. It's, it's concentrated orange juice. No, this is like no out of egg in this dressing. So the, the frozen, this is just the frozen right. without any water. You exactly. You just pour it out exactly. after thought. Exactly. it and we get the stuff with no really? sugar added. And how much so is that? How many? That's, that's three ounces. Three, of the, so half of the oil. And okay. then this is just a quarter cup of rice vinegar. This is rice vinegar. Yes. It's actually seasoned gourmet rice vinegar. Oh, well, thank you, Chef. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, smells so, great. Well, you. that's why we don't have any, we don't need to add salt and pepper and other things. The, the gourmet vinegar is already ah. kind of seasoned. So ah. I like that part. Okay. If you just grab rice vinegar, I was, I learned it's not the same thing. Oh, it no, is. You want the gourmet, you want the other stuff. All right, a little gourmet. helpful okay. tip okay. for you there. Now we're going to add pesto, which is basil, basically. That we call this our orange basil vinaigrette. Orange if you don't have basil. pesto Ooh. around, you could just buy fresh basil at the that market and throw good. it in there and puree it. I think a lot of times you can find pesto made like and, this, right. um, yes, you know, you, already you can prepared. You buy it in a little jar at yep. the store usually, and, and that works fine. Got it. Yep. Perfect. It's over by right. the jar so of garlic yep, usually. That's okay. about a tablespoon of, of the okay. pesto. Then okay. we've got mustard. This is Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. It's a traditional ingredient in a lot of vinaigrettes You're because very it kind of helps chef. thicken it and and keep it emulsified Pardon together. Me. So it is this separate. Dijon mustard? <laughs> yes, right. it is. All okay. right, it there you go. Drop that and in. And then the last thing is a little garlic. Yes. Oh, grab all of that. Load up on the garlic. Okay. Right. Okay. So there's our dressing and all in one container. All in one container. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Slide, Slide down. You. And then we're now just, we get the oh power gosh, tools I'm gonna, out. I'm going to back up a This is on one of the one. coolest uh, devices, seriously, coolest gadget. If you don't have this uh, in your kitchen, you might want to find one because they really come in handy for a lot of different right. things. It, if you're okay. looking to make gravy really uh, smooth, right, this is the right. key. Well, and you can do it right in the pan. Yeah, we, okay. right. we have a, uh, you know, in, in addition to this healthy food, we are in small town Iowa. Mm -hmm. That's where the cafe is located. And it's been there over 140 years. In Winterset. Years. Yeah. So we have a lot of gravy that we use, and we always have this around. To make the best <laughs> but you yeah. can use it for salad dressings too. All right, too. go right. for it. But if you just take it and put it on the bottom, you don't want to start it and put it in there and then just draw yep. it up a little bit. Yep. I'm going to hire Lou to come help with the cafe. Perfect. Perfect. But you can see you're, 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 you're the salad dressing man. See, it'll, it'll get, get a circulation right. going and just 
thoroughly mix and, everything. And do you always recommend doing it like this, or can you shake it up? You, you can shake it, you can whisk it, but what will typically happen, unless you just really spend a lot more time with it, um, it'll tend to want to separate somewhat Got quickly. Got it. So that'll, that's so, a better way of keeping yeah, everything so together. Yeah, so this will kind of stay together like this for a, a lot longer. Okay. There All you right, go. so that now we have the salad We got dressing. salad dressing. Okay, now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. Woohoo! So it's amazing. This is, Mazzola's cholesterol reducing properties are perfect for this salad. As I was reading about all these ingredients, each of them mentioned something about either reducing cholesterol or okay. helping fight off the bad cholesterol right. or adding the good omega-3 acid fat, fats that you want in your body for yeah. good cholesterol. So overall, this, this is a, a great salad for this month. Okay. And this is superfood salad. We call it superfood super because a lot of these ingredients, if you look them up online, we don't have time to go into all the benefits now, but if you go to Mazzola.com later, you can look They're up the recipe and, and do Perfect. your research. What do we already have so in the plate? right now this is just romaine lettuce. Romaine, got it. Which is kind of a common green for salads. Kay. We're going to add some arugula. Arugula, okay. And... We're gonna add some kale. That's just chopped kale. Chopped kale, and we want it all. Uh, if we can fit it in the bowl, as much as you can get in there, all right. and then put it all in there. Yeah, mm. if you toss this in a separate bowl with the dressing, it will shrink down somewhat. Now it looks like you julienne the the this lettuce, which you don't see very often. You too. don't see that very often. It, it just makes it a little bit easier to eat. And right. Those big so it chunks doesn't in your fall mouth. over your face. And then we can just sprinkle some of this. This is red cabbage. Okay. Um, for a little color and for crunch. For a little color, yeah, it makes it beautiful. That and is you know very they pretty. do call us culinary arts, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be I'm making that's something pretty. True. Um, that's true. Okay. So, yeah, they say you eat with your eyes, not yep, just that's with true. your mouth. Absolutely. So, okay, and then uh, we top it with these ingredients here. That We've got uh, craisins, dried cranberries. Okay, and, and some apples. And, yeah, sliced apples and some sunflower seeds. I love it. Love all those. So, I was going to say, these are all delicious things. Yeah, the, and, they, and they go together in the salad really nicely. And there's some delicious apples that are getting ready to yep. and then, be harvested uh, right now. Oh, and some nuts. Yep. Add, yeah, add, sunflower, add seeds. sunflower seeds. Yeah, the there pistachios would be good on, on there, there too, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, a lot of these, you, yeah. you could really yeah. go a lot of different ways with all these. Now, the, the big three that we have left, are, you can combine these into this one bowl. Perfect. And those are chia seeds. Uh, ch -ch -ch -chia. Ch -ch -ch -chia. Very good for you, as and we've talked about. And we're going to pour them into the, that's ground flax. Oh. Chia flax. Okay. And then the last item there that, that you're grabbing, Jackie, those are hemp seeds or hemp nuts. Really? So don't worry or don't be disappointed. There's no actual um, THC or anything. THC in there. kind of issues going on with this salad. Mm -hmm. So that could be disappointing for some people, but <laughs> it does make yeah. the salad at least legal thank for us to sell. Hey, okay, thank you. Yeah, and a little more interesting, too. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And it is. You know, I, I was walking through the store and I, I saw bags of these three ingredients and I'm like, hemp nuts? What is that? <laughs> you had to so try I, it. I started, I, I started reading all the bags and I'm like, wow, this stuff is really good. I wonder if we could make a salad. Good idea. Yeah, so we came that? up with, yeah. So how much are we looking? And we're, and we're just a little on there, okay. a, about a tablespoon, but really you could do a couple. We could drizzle a little of the dressing so on. It okay, let's do it. And then it sticks, exactly. We don't want to wash all this away. So we'll just kind of. You don't want the hemp seeds that to go to the bottom of the bowl, Jackie. Amazing. All right. And then you can add a few more seeds there if you and like. And talk about like a punch of, so wonderful greens, veg, uh, you know, fruits, nuts in there, but now some wonderful. You know, we've talked about chia seeds before, okay. flax seeds, and things like that of how beneficial they are for you health-wise. All in a wonderful salad. Like, talk about an incredible lunch. But right. it, it pays lunch. to read the back and read the ingredients and, and, and read the benefits of different things Definitely. and experiment. That's what you do. Right. You never know what to come up with. Wow. And I, I suppose you could drop this in a blender and make a smoothie. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, maybe. Watch out there, smoothie. Walter. Yep, we're going, you, we're diving you, you in. Can pass through. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I don't want to get between Lou and food. So remind us again all the amazing benefits of one main ingredient we use today, and that's, of course, Mazzola corn. Right. Oil. Well, I'm glad that we got a chance to do this salad because after last week, we talked about the, the fact that it has a really high smoke mm. point and the fact that oh, um, it's great for so many ways of cooking. So we, I didn't want people to be misled and think you couldn't just that use it really for something good. as basic as a salad dressing. Boy, that arugula just jumps out at you too. That so, is really good. Yeah, that, that is delicious. That's a little bit of pepper spice. Be that careful. Awesome. If you get the older arugula, if it's more mature, mm -hmm. it can be super peppery. All right, and but all, it's all really, all really good. And that the hemp seeds have an interesting flavor to them too. Look at that. Yeah, they it's do. Beautiful. They, they all add a little nuance. And, and again, this whole creation here, you can also taste the Dijon mustard in the concoction too. It gives it a little bit of sweetness and a little, a mm. little tartness, which mm. is really nice. Right. It, it's really an explosion of different flavors mm -hmm. that are, are pretty well balanced. And again, as we talked about with Mazzola, and the flavor of the oil isn't going to overwhelm those things. Mm -hmm. It kind of helps those flavors to come through and just carry them right down your palate. Really quickly, Chef. Yeah. 
If we're making this, how long would that last in a fridge? I think it would last longer than you would have before you would want to consume it. But I would say easily a week. Easily yeah. a week, yeah, okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll want to eat it because you'll eat it more than once. What could happen, though, is it separation. could start to separate, okay. and then you could shake it, or if you've got That's the That's why you have your handy-dandy tool handy here. Handy-dandy power tool. Just give Lou a call, and he'll come I'll take it. I'll come over, come over and I'll mix it up <laughs> for you, okay? Not a problem at all. It's a great new service. Okay, okay remind us of two things. Where people sure. can find you at your cafe. All right, we are on the north side of the town square in Winterset. So you should call yourself Northside Cafe. That's a great idea. Or maybe we'll drop the the you know, maybe we should do the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, you got to be cool. <laughs> Just go north side. Yeah, we north side. We don't really have anything to drop, do we? North, north side. But so also, yeah. where can people go if they want to learn more about the health benefits the of Mazzola? Mazzola.com okay. has more information about both the health benefits and the recipes we've talked about here. Um, and what was your other question? That was it. Just All right, so. right. That was it. You, and you, 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 you passed the test. And, <laughs> and don't forget, uh, you said uh, you know when it comes to the temperature for a Mozilla corn oil, it has a high point. It right? has that high smoke point, okay. which obviously did not was not an issue today. Not no. an issue today, but also could work perfectly Delicious, for pancakes though. on pancake day. That's okay. true. Okay. It could be great You're on the grill. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Right. Come Thanks see us again it. very okay. soon. We'll, we'll like, try and do this like again. next week. Okay, good. Next week, come back and we'll cook something. We'll cook something for dinner next week. We did breakfast and I got lunch. We'll do dinner next time. Fall just started, right? We'll come up with a great fall dish for that. Works. Love All it. right, Watch. we'll be right back. This